Welcome back to EPM Org. I hope everyone has had a wonderful and peaceful week on our journey with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today to worship your everlasting love. A love so, so very strong that you gave your only begotten Son for our sins. Lord Jesus, watch over our family, our church family, our friends, our community, our great state, our country, and the planet that you created, Lord. Be in our presence today. Touch someone's heart, Lord, that is in desperate need to feel your love and presence today. As we lift our hands to you today, Lord, embrace our worship to you on this very day, for there is no other God greater than you. For this we pray today, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus we pray, Amen. One of today's messages that we're going to talk about is entitled, Two Classes. Every time I braced my shadow, when the sun was at my back, it always ran ahead of me. I always got the best of me. But every time I raced my shadow, when my face was towards the sun, I won. That quote was written by Shel Silverstein. We all have a shadow, but for it is written in 1 Corinthians 2.14, the person without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness, and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. In this passage, Paul divides humans into two classes, the natural, the unbeliever, unrenewed, through the new birth and the spiritual the born again believer walking in full communion with God the natural man and woman may be extremely intelligent yet fall to understand God's word because it is spiritual discerned Consequently, the basic truths of Scripture are hidden from them. Natural instincts and worldly desires deceit their hearts, and spiritual things make little sense, so they are unable to comprehend the multitude of God's love and the power of His promises. On the other hand, the spiritual person is focused on the thoughts of thoughts and will of God. The indwelling presence of God's Spirit leads, guides, comforts, and speaks to the believer. For Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and a spirit in John 3 3 only through the new birth can we attain true spiritual spirituality the moment we repent of our sins and accept Jesus into our hearts we become God's own and from then on we begin to understand. So you see, we live in a time of uncertainty 
in the world today, in the year 2020, we worry about race and color and creed and ethnicity and we worry about so many things. But in all reality, there are not there are only two classes. Yes, there are rich, poor, middle class, but that's all human developed issues that we've learned from. We've taken on our shoulders through our lives. We've developed these things that don't matter to God. For there are only two classes in this world, he, Paul said. Paul divided the humans into two classes, the natural and the spiritual. Those that aren't born again and those that are. The righteous and the sinners. The saved and the unsaved. So there is no need for a racial divide, a financial divide, a national divide on earth. For we are one per people under God for we are all God's children all God's creation and there's only two classes that matter the natural that are born into this world as sinners that go unsaved aren't willing to accept the word of God for it's written in the Bible and the spiritual that were born sinners as well, but have repented their sins, been baptized in the name of Jesus, accepted the Holy Spirit into their hearts, and walk with God today. So are you a sinner? Still? Or have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Are you saved or unsaved? That's the only two classes we need to worry about on earth that was created by God. We were created by God. We were all God's children. We were to love one another. Love thy neighbor. It's one of the Ten Commandments. So it's time to wake up and repent. Be saved. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Be baptized in the name of Jesus. And accept the Holy Spirit into your hearts. For there are only two classes. The unsaved and the saved. Until next time. God bless.